meant to be unsettling. So, our, our, to catch you started? up for what all has yeah. all right. happened, uh, I one shot at Calderax after he took the swords. Cool. Um, and then I gave him to Arusha. And then she gave him over to. Here, let me. Um, I got his name here. Maleficus. The god, the god of the undead. And, and you were really pissed that he was in the room. Was I? Because he's the god of undead. Cool. But you're still being really like cheery about it. I'm supposed to be. Weirdly we enough. Try, oh yeah, I propose to Telma. I'm now an engaged person. Congratulations. We got everybody got super hammered except for Side because he, he can't, can't get, get drunk. drunk. I drank a barrel of the barrel. In one go. Literal go. Well, I mean, he's already passed out on the, on the well, board there. <laughs> <laughs> that was my toast to the king. Oh, we also shopped with Sven a little bit if you wanted to get anything. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, somebody's been stealing uh, Sven's stuff. Oh, I was like so somebody, to the somebody broke Sven. into Sven's shop. Somehow. We don't know how. Don't, he doesn't know how. Um, and stole a, a, his iron flask, which has a Tarrasque in it. What's Sven's real name again? Note. 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 I'm gonna have a follower of Although he doesn't know he's Note. How, Gerald, how would you rule these weapons that the rod can turn into? Because it, it, it becomes a flame tongue. So is it like a flame tongue mace? Yeah. Essentially. It's just a fire weapon. <laughs> Trying to find a good. Ooh, I have a good one if it's still here. Kitty cat. Oh, kitty cat. Spooky one. God, I'm so tired. But I have to grab it. I actually found some really good stuff on roll 20 for Damn that. You. Damn you, work. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? Crazy. People like to know how my day's been. I forgot I put my clothes in the laundry just now. I was wondering what that water was running like <laughs> before. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got paid to make cheeseburgers today. I got paid to watch Netflix today. But my, but my job wasn't <laughs> like at a place that makes cheeseburgers. I well, got to eat them. I watch Parks and Rec all day. I don't know. I work in retail, so I get paid to hate people. Yeah. yeah, same. I work in government, so I get paid to... I make not do anything. When you're not do shit. Up, <laughs> so when I hang Sorry, up, guys. I was up, getting I some, some music stuff so. dealt with. <laughs> Welcome back, our overpowered paladin. Yes. Although, to be fair, everyone here is overpowered, well, so it works out. Okay. True, but I'm overpowered without having any kind of items and magic and things like that. Just innate. innate. Just in nature, overpowered. All right. So, you are... Where'd the bug go? Where'd the bug go? Where'd he go? It's on his nose. Where'd he go? Who's that? Where'd the bug go? He's so derpy. He's seriously on his nose. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't understand. Oh, oh found it. Found it? Nope. Oh, what? He'll eat it eventually. I already lost interest. Oh, there it is. Gross. Oh. 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 So the plane, plane shift is cast, mm -hmm. and you all enter. Oh, we're going to the uh, city of Brass to get one of the Doom Slayers. Yeah. We also found that out that there are a bunch of other people that have been loading up on. That's why they robbed Sven's so shop. They've been loading up on magical fire resistance uh, items, magical cold resistance items to go to the South Pole to get one of the other Doom Slayers, and trap finding slash spelunking gear to go to the Tomb of Horrors. <laughs> <laughs> Just eat the damn thing, Graydon. <sighs> you know he likes to play. He's trying so hard to eat it now. So just he, he can't comprehend that if he licked First it. First thing it that you stick. notice when you enter this new plane is that it is hot. swelteringly hot. Miserably hot. Instantly. Yes. You are almost immediately drenched like, in sweat. 
Like everybody's got a valley of mud butt going on. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> to put it delicately. Uh, I suppose, yes. Uh, I'm not sure how delicate that is, but that's fair. I could have been much more graphic. Um, one other thing that you notice is that there is a lot of stonework, but most of what you see around you <coughs> is uh, almost appears like it's iron and other sort of crafted materials, right? So like there are some trees that you see that are not wood in any way. They appear to be made of uh, iron or steel, and the leaves on them are some sort of uh, like coppery material. Um, there is light coming from your left that when you look over is a lake of lava. Uh, to your right, of course, is more of the same kind of metallic trees. And very far ahead of you, you see, just in the, in the far distance, you see a cityscape. Tall buildings. Taller buildings than you've ever seen before skyscraper type buildings. Um, what lives in this place? That's all that you can kind of make out. Fire elementals, fire giants, anything that you can put fire in in the name of? Yeah. <laughs> Ephrides. Ooh. Your wishes. Now this If your wishes can I die, then they'll grant it. Yeah. This plane is uh, actually uh, make me some religion checks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure only Ulfgar and Possum <sighs> are actually trained in this. Spin, got me. I really uh, should have gotten the freaking headband and the Dragon Quest bag. Got a fourteen. Spin will got me. No. Rosie. Ah. 24. Nice. I have a 17. Bad. Got a 14. 14. Touch my. Evander, you want to roll a religion check? Touch my skin. 14. No. Four Seven. Ten. Okay, got it. And yeah. that's with my plus six. Nice. Oh, you're the one. That's, that's great. Great way to start the night. My yeah, emblem. first roll. Brand doesn't emblem, roll well. I say Sven got me. He hasn't. <laughs> Nope. If you rolled even halfway decent, then nope. uh, Guide me. it's it's just the the D and D gods uh, balancing. How well, no, no, they balanced it last game I played. Rolling twenties and eighteens all night, but when we get to the boss, two, 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 three. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't want the succubus to die. <clears throat> Whoever does, man. Alex got so. We always hit man. He always hits it really hard, and then I kill it. Yeah. Well, this time I didn't get to kill it. It was Rand, wasn't it? It was a cleric. The cleric. Oh, that's right. Continue on. <laughs> Rand yeah. can't do uh, things right. All right. He can sometimes. He just does them in the wrong way. No, he cannot. Ulfgar. <laughs> I'm 100 percent confident. You know that none of you all could read the Wheel of Time series. That this particular because plane. Because of him. No, no. Because of their party. This particular plane is home. That's what he got the name. The character's to name. So there's a character. Volt the Magnin, character. The it was God of was Rand, Rand, and you would never Volt be able to Magnin? take it seriously. Yes. Wow. Spelled like it sounds? Making off? Uh, he's like the most powerful uh, person in existence. Uh, yeah, Space, M-A-G-N-O-N. Where was the V-A-X? <clears throat> this, this plane is also called Kryptowith, which is uh, old English, I think, for crap work. That's, I think that's what I had to have anyway. Alright, alright. <laughs> uh, one second. 
I'm going to go ahead and dole out those potions, one to Evander, one to Amish, and one to myself. Ooh. Yeah. So. Cool, cool. Now, again, fire resistance. Yep. very, very hot. So fire resistance gives you resistance to fire damage. Uh, it does make this plane, if you were to drink it, uh, you think it would make this plane slightly more bearable. What are my boots but bearable? Here, but not that. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, are, are my boots helping? At least a little bit. Whoa! What do your boots do? They they make uh, they they make they allow me to how how to word this. Um, I don't remember survive in different climates, ah. extreme temperatures. Um, it helps a little bit, but not wildly. So, um, you, from where you are, you can basically tell that the cityscape in the far distance ahead is the one, is the city of Brown. You're pretty close to it. What do you all do? They say, let's get going. I'd really like to not be in this heat. Especially oh, coming from it. Apple's Jar where it's fucking cold. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, I got fur. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm wearing armor. plate armor. I'm also you, wearing plate armor. <laughs> you might want to revert. I'll be alright. Okay. You're okay. suffering exhaustion I'm levels. About to well, we'll make con saves for that. I have a potion for that. You're walking about an hour. The cityscape is getting larger. So it's not like it's too ridiculously far in the distance. You do notice as you're walking through this metallic forest that there are creatures that... <laughs> there are creatures here that you've seen before, I think. I, I don't know if I've thrown them at you or not, but like fire uh, methods? They're they're eating the trees with their antenna. Well, that's odd. Rust. Oh monsters. fuck me. Rust monsters. No. 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 They're no. <laughs> Everyone hates rust monsters because they suck. They eat. Fair. They eat metal. Uh, they are not hostile to you. Uh, Good. Granted, granted, you probably don't get super close to them. You can't judge the distance properly. <laughs> bite. That's really funny. <clears throat> Explains why I was so bad at eating the bug. And after about an hour of walking, I need everyone to make constitution saving throws, please. Uh, you have, because of your boots, you have advantage. Ooh. Uh, Amps, because of your fur, you have disadvantage. disadvantage. I failed. <laughs> Did you roll a one? He rolled a one. Eh. High five. You can't technically, you can't technically crit fail con saves, uh, but it's still a failure. I what, passed. What's the total? Six. Okay, got it. I passed. Seven. I got a nat 20 and a 17, so I got 26. Okay. Evander, what is your con save? That's a waste of nat 20. It's a 23 for me. You're good. You rolled 19. I'm not 19. Okay, cool. Plus stuff. Two of you, Cy and Bran, uh, will suffer one level of exhaustion. I had a spell for that. You are. Because you disadvantage on abilities. It is so hot. Where do you write that down at? Uh, I just make a just note. Just keep it keep somewhere. I'm putting it in my temporary hit point box. Yeah. The I first level right. is disadvantage on ability checks, uh, which I'm just familiar with because he's a frenzy barbarian. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Um, mm. You do find yourself eventually over time kind of becoming a little bit more uh, acclimatized to it. Like you're, you're <laughs> becoming. It's a it's so, it's so miserable. Don't get me wrong, but it's becoming a bit more bearable. 
Uh, uh, every time. Yeah, yeah. Every time. You make it to the front gate. This is about another half hour walk. You make it to the front gate of the city of Brass. And there are two guards in front as we're barring the way. These are they're very large Decorative kind of automatons or golems or something along those lines. Um, they're made of some. They're they're sort of filigreed with some precious metals like gold and silvers and stuff. Uh, but you can tell where it's not filigreed that they're made of uh, adamantium. Damn. Adamantium. I guess is the D&D format. Very strong guards. Armored man. He admires the craftsmanship. So, from K Old Man Kagan, we know it's in the city of Brass. Do we know where in the city of Brass? Because I'm assuming he would have given us details. Uh, that is a good question. Yes. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> give me a moment. <laughs> Who's the ruler of this plane again? Do we Vault say that? Magnan. Well, you would know based on your role. Rock lobster. Rock lobster. <laughs> Rock lobster. <laughs> That's something that's hilarious that Panic and Disco, that the Disco sampled. That song. It's a good song, dude. I love it. I was actually looking at the way here. I really like that last album that came out about the Death of the Master. Let's do that. It's a good album. Okay. <laughs> it is in the vault of an individual who goes by the name of Zakishi. Do I recognize the name? As far as what? Like, does it sound like a, a folklore thing? Does it sound like a well-known demon? Oh, great, I'm wonderful at these. You're an old motherfucker, you should be. 17. 17. I'm old as hell. That's true. <laughs> old as hell. I am getting too old for this shit. <clears throat> Zakishi is the name of hmm. Oh, that's fun. Let's do that. Zakishi is the name of a uh, very wealthy and powerful <laughs> oh good <laughs> I don't like giants kill with water <laughs> you know what the dwarven thrower does <clears throat> against giants another d8 bonus damages but you have something you have a few other steps before you can even get over there so it's a good thing I wait did I actually get that thing from Sven the you, you didn't specify. I thought I said he showed it to you. We never talk numbers. Oh, we didn't. It's too late now. I thought that I said buy it. No. He did say buy it. Oh, did you? The root. Now root. For uh. I'm, I'm just a bear. <laughs> for the like locker type device. Yeah. Um. Essentially, a mobile weapons locker. Yeah. It is. I just interrupted. Uh, Twenty five hundred gold. Hmm. Twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred gold. Oh, yeah. Twenty five hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Super done. It's. It doesn't take. It took too much to do that. Super cool. I'm going to heavily. In, in fact, can ret can I retroactively have uh, invested 
into because he said he was tinkering with that. Mm -hmm. Give him like money in advance to fund his research and tinkering farther into it. Sure, how much money do you give him? Uh, let's give him uh, twenty five thousand. Okay, it, you want to have have that including the the price for the one that he is. Sure. Okay. Cool. Sure. Twenty five thousand even. I'd be like, here is this. Here's I like this technology. Let's make more of this happen, and I'll, okay. I'll, I'll pick up some more uh, at a later date. Dig it. That'd be an order of magnitude more than what it actually costs. I was trying to remember the math term. One order of magnitude, yeah. Cool. And, and he, uh, he in-game created capsule corp items. Oh, God. So it was like, he give a thing, <laughs> click a button, tossed it, and I have a like an armoire like type like size like weapons locker essentially because I have nine yeah I've seen your list of swords <laughs> I'm catching up man and I had to make a new one okay got it alright yeah one sword Noted. for the occasion so I'm gonna it's, it's one sword the old one I'm gonna pull the pallet the inside jeez Brian come yes. here we, we need to get into the city of Russ but we really don't have a good reason I don't know anyone here do I know anyone here? I really don't think I would. I don't up. think you would. We're either. vacationing. We came to see the sights. And we need to get into this. Uh, this. Do you have anywhere that's cool? What was that name? I forgot to write it down. Zakishi. Z a k i s h i. Shame. We need to get into the vault of Zakishi. He's a well. He's apparently a well-to-do fire giant. And uh, I was thinking that you might be able to bluff our way in. I've seen paladins work before. I can't be very persuasive. I mean, I'll help you. Well, what's the game? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, uh, we've been summoned by Zakishi. Tell, tell, we'll tell the guards we've been summoned by Zakishi. And we're supposed to have a meeting with him at his, his palace. Ooh, we can tell him that, that he summoned us to, uh, to analyze a new item that he got from our plane. That was, that's why he had to get someone from our plane to come. It's, it's a new item he wants to learn about. Sure. And we are, and we are the experts upon these items. I mean, look at all the cool shit we've got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, go up to the guards. Okay. I've rolled Approach six the guards. on this die in the past two minutes. You need to they, throw that one in the trash. This is a shame die. They, uh... Where's the 20? <laughs> <laughs> like, he wasted these. the 20. These uh, automatons stand about twenty feet tall. They're real big, and they look down at you, and in a kind of a tinny voice, uh, "What is your business here?" I already forgot what we were saying. We've been <laughs> summoned by Zakishi. That's right. Hmm? That's who, right. Who goes there? And what is your business? I don't know why I'm here. I'm a bear. I'm a bear. Well, he's a bear. He don't know why he's here. The rest of us were summoned by Sakishi to... Evaluate an item. That thing. Sorry. I had a little bit too much to drink. <laughs> he's a he, he's a bit of a drinker. It's hot down here, too. Wait, it's still hot here, right? Where it's, we're at? We're, it's fucking it's, balls. It's, okay. It's, it's, it's blatant. so Hot. Balls hot. It's literally, it's balls like so tired literally tired. all <laughs> swimming in ball yes. soup. Balls hot. Ball soup pot. <laughs> oh, that's gross. What but it evokes an image. It does. <laughs> it does. It does, it does, it does invoke an accurate image. All of them. We were in Death Valley. Scanning. <laughs> Though I walk through the valley and you hear of the shadow, of weird death. whirring noise. Sending message. Oh fuck! I was really hoping for a deception roll <laughs> that they would just go with it. <laughs> I didn't know they were automatons. I wasn't paying attention. They were automatons. <laughs> we're. Go I'm gonna slowly get out my dwarven thrower, <laughs> <laughs> like behind my back. Everybody get ready. So is this like what about to get hit? Gate, Give high me. walls. A percentile roll. Oh fuck. Just M. 
Mm-hmm. Just him. Yeah, just him. Now, before you tell me what it is. Is that a double zero? No. Oh, good. Before you tell me Actually, double is. zero would have been a hundred. Yes. Uh, roll a persuasion check and add it to it. With advantage because I was assisting? Uh, sure. Yay. We'll try a new little mechanic, see if this reckless. So add what I rolled here to... No. Oh. Add your d20 roll to your percentile roll. It's divided by the same number. Uh, yeah. Add that would be the same number. Is that on together? Is that on together? A plus B is equal to B plus A. <laughs> That's fair. Stop uh, mathing at me. I'm just... It, for, for the sake right. of like mechanic purposes. I'm good at that, yeah. though. Um, so do you want me to add my persuasion modifier to this? Yeah. Okay. So that is... 53. 53. Nice. Rolled low. I did roll okay. low. Uh, we will, s- we're out of time for this video. We'll come back in the next one. No! See what happens. <laughs>